What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today we are talking about something pretty cool. We are talking about the 2021 KZ Durango D301 RLT, baby. Now this thing is awesome. I've got us plugged in. So we got our awning out. We got lights on, man. It's great. This thing is super cool, really awesome rear living. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I like about this, and kind of what's gonna set it apart from the rest of the competition, kind of in its price point. So, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my camping family. Make sure to drop a comment down below. I love to hear feedback from my, all of my viewers out there. And then like the video too, guys. Really helps me out, but let's get into this thing, man. So guys, again, Durango 301 RLT. That is the name of the game today. And we do have the all weather package. So we have a forced heated and enclosed underbelly so we can take this thing out in the winter time and all that good stuff. And now we have a true hitch to bumper two year limited warranty. Just about everybody else is gonna give you a one year hitch to bumper warranty. KZ is gonna give you two, which is awesome. And we have the nice little lease latch here. We've got the aluminum solid steps, which is great. And then we do have the lend a hand handy dandy handle right here too. Check out this awning guys. This thing is huge, huge I say. So whenever this little flap's coming down, that's telling you to stop. Whoa, that's enough, right? So we got that flap out. That's as far as our awning will extend. We have that beautiful LED strip up there at the top. And then we have these marine grade outdoor speakers that are nice and blue and lit up, man, it's great. So we're gonna have a propane quick connect right here so we can get that outdoor kitchen going on. We're pre-wired for Furion observation so we can do the blind spot cameras as well as the backup camera over in the back. We have GFCI outlets over here. We have this beautiful thick insulated slam latch pass-through door with, oh, the magnets, you know I love those. And then in our pass-through, we've got our big old power cord, and you know we've got the outside TV, baby. Now we can take this thing off and move it around everywhere. It comes with a nice little cover there. We have the remote for this bad boy too. Beautiful, huge pass-through storage. And guys, this is heated and enclosed in here. Awesome stuff. Now in this compartment, this is where our batteries as well as our solar pre-wiring will be. We have a true battery disconnect as well as a lithium ready charging system. And guys, we do have tire link on this thing, which is super cool. So you can see the levels of your tires display. Awesome little feature. Guys, we got the huge Solera awning, love that. Now going over to the front, we've got our beautiful Durango front cap. We are lit up with LEDs on both sides beautiful we have our lippert components pin box here and then underneath i do have my little jump box but we have plenty of storage in this thing guys plenty all right moving along we do have an auto level system by lippert now guys this is an electric awning excuse me an electric auto level two 30 pound propane tanks both on this side most rvs you're going to see one on this side and one on the other i like how they're both in one convenient spot and then we have this side of our pass through, which we can see a bunch of stuff. Now guys, if you watch the channel, you know how much I love this Nautilus P4 wet bay. It is awesome. It's super easy to set this guy however you need to. Dry camping, power fill, city water, winterize, sanitize, you name it, you can do it. We have an outdoor shower, obviously with our uh, nice hose here. Then we're gonna have our satellite and cable inlet as well as our water pump, our city water, and our tank flush right here. Beautiful. Now guys, this is on air shocks as to not lift up and hit our bedroom slide. And this is, of course, a 50 amp unit. Here's our hot water heater, our other Furion observation camera. And then guys, we're going to have our sewage system. So we have our low point drains here as well as our uh, black and gray tanks that's gonna come out with this guy right here. Beautiful. Two big slides on this side. And then moving along, folks. There is something up on this roof that I'm going to talk to you about here in just a moment. But before that, we are pre-wired for that Furion observation. 
we have the towing package guys so we can tow up to 3,000 pounds and we have a 300 pound hitch rating with our connections to get up and going beautiful huge windows you have the ladder to hop up on the roof which speaking of I'll catch you guys up there in just a moment and we are back up on top of this Durango now up here I want to talk to you about a couple of things two things actually first don't mind the mud we're going to have this Coleman Mach AC 15k right here as well as well as up here guys so we have that Mach 15k Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet ACs these ACs are tremendous they do a great job now we do have that King Wi-Fi extender and antenna right there so we've got that going on we're gonna have a beautiful skylight for our shower and then a fan for our bathroom now we do have a fantastic fan that is in the kitchen which is this guy right here I did open it up had that going on just a minute ago to try to cool this puppy off but real reason we're up here is because we have the Tough Flex roofing system. Guys, this is made by Dicor. This PVC roofing system is top of the line. Super stretchy, very resilient, UV reflective, and this stuff is going to have a 15 year warranty as well. 15 years, dude, that's crazy. Awesome stuff. But that's all I got for you up here. We'll catch you back downstairs. And, oh, we're back. So, we've talked about everything that we got going on over in the rear. Now, one thing that I neglected to mention up front, which I apologize for, is we have a second awning, dude. So, we got one over on our slide and the other over on the camper, man. Beautiful. Beautiful LED lit awning. Both Solera awnings. Man, this thing is just great. Hanging out in the shade, having a good time, camping with the fam. Man, what more could you want? Tell you, I know what you guys want. You want to see the inside of this thing, so let's go. Now, walking in. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, I say. All right, y'all. You know how we do. Let's start over here. So whenever we walk in, obviously we're gonna have our fire extinguisher. Now over on this side, we're gonna have some nice, big, big windows with the true roll em up blackout shades. Now this guy is going to be for our awning outside. This guy here is gonna be for our lights up top over our four person freestanding table and chairs. What I like about this is that if I can hold it, right? Let's see here. There we go. We got a leaf, so we can hold up to six people on this bad boy. Awesome. Now we have our awning over here. We also have our first awning that is in the LCI display. Now going over, we have the Thomas Paine Collection Furniture. Guys, these are true recliners. Now these things will heat as well as massage, and we do have USB ports on both sides. We also have a nice little cubby hole for all your remotes. Now we do have a couple of other Nice clicky lights up here. So we got our ambient lighting up top, if you guys can see that. And then we have our second light for our slide. Beautiful. Now over here, we do have the true pull them out couch that is a Thomas Paine couch. We're gonna have two three-prong outlets on either side. Gorgeous, huge rear window. And what I really like is that we have these two windows. That way we can get a beautiful cross breeze going. Now up top, you'll notice all of our dark cabinetry with tinted glass. Bunch of storage up here. Now guys, with those Coleman Mach ACs, we are ducted. So we have these ducts. We also have our dump feature here as well as in the bedroom. Now with our infotainment system, we have this awesome Connex, huge TV, bunch of storage up top. Our electronic fireplace by Inno Flame, super hot, really like this thing. Our Furion system that we can play around with our knob. We can get our AM, FM, Bluetooth, USB, headphones, aux cord, you name it, man. We can also hook this guy up to the TV to get playing through our speakers. Now I am sitting on this ottoman right here. I really love that they throw this in. It is hollow on the inside, so you can put your blankets and different camping materials and stuff like that in there. 
We've got our island, solid surface, with two bar stools and these little cords down there. That's how you're going to secure them whenever you guys are going down the road. Two GFCI outlets, big gooseneck sink here with our chef's nozzle, a couple different spray modes there, and it is a stainless steel deep sink. Now over here, we're going to have some storage underneath as well as a little trash can that they threw in for you. Awesome drawers with the soft clothes. You guys notice that? If you've watched my channel before, you know I love, love, love the soft clothes. Now over here, huge Insignia residential oven, guys, with the four burner gas stove. You can fit a whole freaking turkey in there. This thing is fit to be in a house. Solid surface. Big storage on both sides. I love, love, love the dark wood cabinetry. Two outlets there, two outlets here. Big time microwave. And guys, this is a convection microwave. A little bit of storage on either side of it. And this beautiful window so you can see all of the awesome views whenever you guys are out camping. Really do love the dark wood and all the crown molding here. We can move this guy over to get a better light with our skylight. Now guys, we've got a huge, 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 huge Norcold gas and electric fridge and freezer combo. Four doors on this puppy. And look at that, we've even got ice makers. Old school. Now right now, as I'm recording this, we are doing the Oklahoma camping show. Now because of that, I'm able to kind of discount these things by a decent bit. So I'm gonna run over some pricing information with you guys. Sales price, 65,881 plus dock and prep. Now MSRP on this guy is 88,373. And guys, like I said, this is a 21 Durango 301 RLT. And so with approved credit on a decent interest rate with a longer term, we're looking at 468. Not that bad. I'd pay 468 bucks a month for this thing. Look at this humongous pantry. Beautiful. Again, talking about that Dicor Products Tough Flex Roofing. 15 year on the warranty. Big space there. And here is that Max fan that I was talking about up on the roof earlier with our controller with this guy. So here we can, we can get our speed up, we can get our speed down, all of that good stuff. And we can also turn it on and off. Beautiful. Little outlet there. And then some storage. Moving right along, folks, we're gonna have our uh, propane gas alarm and our carbon monoxide alarm there, and our breaker box and fuse panel. So we've got that going on. And then, moving along, we're gonna have our LCI display. So here, we can turn all the lights on. We can also turn them all off. Turn them all back on. We can look at our awning, our leveling system, all of our different lights, our monitor, monitor panel to turn on that water pump as well as run in and out our slides. Beautiful. As well as our Coleman Muck thermostat. Now going up the hallway into the restroom, we're going to have an awesome walk-in shower, tri-slide, glass slides with that skylight that we talked about up on the roof, as well as that attic fan. We got some of our ducts, drunk octopus hangers, our foot flush commode. And then over here, you got me in the mirror and back behind that, a little medicine cabinet. Now guys, we'll have our hot water heater right here, as well as our nice light. Stainless steel sinks, GFCI outlets, perfect places for some toilet paper and towels, and then some storage underneath. What do you think about that, guys? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you do think about all of this stuff. All right, now going into the master bedroom. Ta-da! All right, huge, 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 huge king bed with some cubbies over here. Hope you guys are getting a good view of that. We've got USBs and three-prong outlets on that side. We have some three-prong outlets on this side. We've got the uh, nightshades down, but we can have a beautiful cross breeze. And I like that they have a CPAP machine right there. We've also got two USBs mounted up on the roof with our clicky LED lights. Got two of those bad boys. Now over here in our closet, we do have these guys to secure it whenever we are in transportation. And then we have our light. Still got some tape on it, but that's okay. 
We have our light back here that's gonna shine down on your beautiful closet. Now guys, we are prepped and ready for washer and dryer in this bad boy. We've also got the outlet in here to prove it. Now over here, we're gonna have plenty of space and a laundry hamper for you. Really love that feature. Plenty of space with these drawers with the soft clothes. You guys know how I feel about that soft clothes. It's great. It's fantastic. And then under here, even more storage. And then you know that we've got even more storage under the bed, baby. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Well, what do you think about this thing, man? Drop me a comment down below and let me know kind of what your thoughts and opinions are on this bad boy. I'd love to hear them. Like I said, guys, I love hearing from all of my customers out there, all my online viewers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. And if you've made it this far and you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you think that I've earned it. I do a lot, and I, I put a lot of hard work into these videos for you guys. I'm a one-man show, and they don't pay me for these. They pay me to sell them. And with that being said, if you guys could see yourself in this bad boy, let me know. I'm going to have my phone number, my email address, my Facebook page, my inventory website, as well as a link to KZ's website, so you can learn more about this cool floor plan and all the other cool floor plans that they have. One thing we didn't talk about is our fan. Don't have that guy turned on at the moment, but we do have an awesome ceiling fan up here. But guys, just like that, I'm going to get out of here and go try to sell something. Hit me up if you're interested in this thing. I'd love to sell it to you and make you a great deal. But guys, just like that, I'm out of here. See you later. Peace.